my back is killing me right now. Like, I don't know what I did. You just the, want to start off top complaining? I'm just saying, man. Like, it's I, boy. I feel like I feel like somebody was stepping in my back, le- legit. Like the the top you, part of my back. You think it would feel better if somebody did step on your back? I don't. I've never been that person. Like, I don't like people stepping in my back. And I used to get afraid when, like, my father, when I was younger, would ask me to step in his back. I was about to say, my dad, I don't know if that's a dad thing. My dad would ask all of us to walk on his back. Yeah. And we thought we were too heavy, but we were, like, little. And he would want us to walk on his back. Yeah. And I tried to get the boys to do that one time, but their balance ain't that good. I tried to get them to do it <laughs> step to on me. A kidney, goddamn. Yeah, I tried to get them to do it to me, but they'll start jumping, and yeah. I don't have time for that. Yeah, nah, man. Like, I, I was never one of those back stepper persons. Like, I didn't know it was, like, a thing. Like a group of people. I like guess. Back stepper I, I've heard it from more than one person. Like, not just you. Like, I've heard it. People saying, yeah, I just need somebody to step in my back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you need somebody to break your spine? What the hell? Yeah, I think, like, I think dads do that. I think it's a dad thing. I don't know, man. No, I've heard a woman say it before. Like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh, I just need somebody to just step in my back. Like a little kid to just step in my back real quick. And I'm like, nah, son. Dang, I kind of need that now. I'm going to get the kids to try it when they get home. Nah, you wildin'. I'm going to just see if they calm. You just going to see if you can yeah, walk after? Yeah, I mean, one day they got to grow up. And I think maybe, the, I don't know, maybe today. Nah, you see, you doing it to, man, six years old? Yeah, they little, gotta grow up. Them little kids got got a little uh, uh, weight to them now, man. Yeah, especially boy. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, they twins, but one is uh, one is, and it's weird because they they, they look, look the, same. the same. Yeah, but one has this sturdiness about him. He's just, just thick. He's solid. Yeah, man. He's solid. I hit him, and he, you know, he like, hey, hey. I'm like, no, man. <laughs> Take some pain. Why don't you don't hit him to beat him? Like, no, I hit him to hit him. Let's, let's clarify. No, I, you know, real quick. In the face, right? No, nah, hit him in the face. That's messed up. In the chest, like you know, bat, like like a, like a man, like a wrestler. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, and I don't know why children love danger so much because they love a rock bottom. Yeah, man, what, the rock bottom. They love a. They fuck with a rock bottom. Oh my god! Like really? They really? That's their favorite thing. But it's the it's the whole thing with it. Like I'll go to, oh my goodness, yeah. oh my goodness, rock bottom, rock yeah. bottom. And when I do that, boom. Yeah, they start. They love it. Man, you give a great audio experience. What you mean? I'm just saying that voice, man. I that's the voice I do with them, man. I know, but it was very clear. It sounded good, no, man. That, I that's my that's my wrestler announcer voice. Yeah, it was good. It's like, oh, no, you can't be a uh, old girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course not. Of she, course what, not. That, her name's Samantha? Samantha uh, something. I, you know everybody know. They're going to be shouting it yeah, out at the thing, yeah, but I man. forgot. Yeah. No, she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god! What like, are you? What I, is that? I, I, I was trying to get the voice, but I couldn't think of any like words. Kind of about to take a shit. Nah, um, with, with, uh, coming to the ring. All right, she's what so good. What is that good. face? What's your face? That's not good. She's so good. I man. feel disrespected that you even did that. That's, my, my bad. My that bad. was kind of crazy. Nah, but she's amazing. Man. I want to make sure amazing. I get her name right because I know they're. I know um, it's Samantha. Definitely at the thing. Do you, Do you follow her? Um, yeah, I do. What? But, um, it's, it's fine. Keep going. Nah. Um, but yeah, yeah, so I, I wasn't talking about anything. What do you? <laughs> oh, I thought you were just gonna talk. Like, okay, Samantha Irvin. Samantha Irvin. That's her name. Yeah, I, yeah. I knew it. Like, whatever. Yeah, she's super dope. She's super dope, man. Okay. Um, how are you? I'm okay. You're okay. You sure? No, I'm not. Oh, but right. What are we sure about? You know, you <laughs> didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, that's what's important, right? Like, no, you didn't, not at all. You didn't do Honestly, anything to make me feel. I wish blah. I did do something because at least I would know what? where it's coming from and how to, you know, fix it. In you know where way. it's coming from, and you can't fix it. So <laughs> you know where it's coming from. Just frustration. Oh, but man. other than that, I'm okay. I'm. We didn't start the show. Why are you asking me? I'm just. That? I didn't ask you about yeah, your week. I was I asking mean, how you doing. I'm cool. I'm all right. How you doing? I am pretty, except for my back. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty okay. Like, I am in a really good mood today. Mm -hmm. Um, And I am leaning on God without my understanding um, because I don't understand anything that's going on. But, you know, I'm... I'm trying to stay in such a good mood because I know there are enough things to put me in a bad mood. 
You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, you you'll find them if even if they're not there, you'll find them. <laughs> you will find the things. Yeah, I mean, I played Madden last night for a couple of rounds. Yeah. I, we was on live last night on Instagram live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, I was just I was just telling I'm taking all challenges, whatever. And uh, a lady that was inside of there said, my husband said, give me the gamer tag. So I gave him my gamer tag, JTalk100. Um, you he, throwing it out there so other people can yeah, hell try yeah. to play you? That's um, hilarious. Yeah, I, I like playing people, man. Um, and we were, it was a really good match. And I thought it was going to overtime. And he catches this miraculous ball out of fucking nowhere no. and beat me. And, and like the, it was literally three seconds left. And I thought it was hilarious because they're coming to the St. Louis show. And I was like, you could come and talk all the shit you He's want. He's going to talk cash shit this Friday. Just I know it. whooped him. And he was so, he just thought he was going to win. And I tried to be encouraging on the sideline. You know what, but I, I ain't going front. I was drinking, I was drinking mad scotch. And in the first half, I was definitely talking on live a lot too. So I was missing you, so different things. So you try to say you was distracted. Oh, 100%. Like oh if we God. play again... Oh, 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 it's going down. Okay, baby. It's going down. He's going down. It was neck and neck the entire time. It so. really was. It really was. Like I said, it was a really good game. I yeah. appreciated that. And I like playing people, you know, that you know. Because mm -hmm. usually I'm online and I'm just playing just randoms. But people that you actually have some type of connection with, mm -hmm. I love that. Like, I, I love it because it's bragging rights, man. Oh, my you know God. I mean, like, anytime I'm feeling bad or if I'm losing a whole lot on online, mm -hmm. I'll just call my brother because I know I'm, I'm good for at least one game with him. At least one game that I have any. Like two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm 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 at least good for one win, mm -hmm. you know. And if I'm really busting ass that day, mm -hmm. oh, it, it makes me feel amazing. Oh my god. Amazing. Like is there's no better feeling than playing a video game and beating someone that is either in front of you or at least somebody that you can talk shit to after. You can talk shit to this man one day. You can't wait until Friday, huh? Right, well, listen, he can talk shit, so I can wait. Oh, God. I can wait. <laughs> yeah. I can definitely wait, man. Yeah. Um, let's yeah. get to the show, though. Okay. It's J-Rod. Chris and Seville. And then we, the podcast. You can't figure out a rhythm for that for nothing, can you? No, I found one. Okay. Um, the fastest growing podcast in Chicago, Illinois. Hey, we're we're going to be in Chicago. We're going to be in Chicago June 8th, right? Uh, June 8th, yes. June 8th, June 8th Chicago and June 9th in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, that was terrible, by the way. What? Your burp, burp, burp. It, it wasn't that good, No, right? it, it wasn't. It wasn't. And people keep saying, yo, put her boop, boop, boop in the ball. Put I, her boop, boop, I in the am. Ball. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you one today. I need a good one. Something got to happen, yeah, but, but I'm going to give you one today. I can't be talking at the same time. Remember that. It has to be silent, so it's only your voice going burp, burp, burp. Okay. You know or maybe mean? we could just record and somebody, it later. And somebody kind of wants debris as well. Dang, debris is hard. Debris cause, is debris Because every crazy. situation don't need the debris You're at the right. end. You're right. You're right. You know, sometimes you just get the horn, but okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> All right. You work on that. No, you work I'll on that. i think about it. Um, how was your week? Um, I, my week was fine. Okay. I had a, I had, we had a good time this week. Mm -hmm. Um. We went, we did our first road trip with the kids, mm -hmm. um, with all of the kids, but specifically the twins. Um, second road trip. First trip, road trip with them. First road trip. Well, technically second road trip with them. The first road trip was when it was, um, it was going to flood here, I think. It was like a hurricane or something like that. We went to West Virginia with them. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was a terrible ride. Yeah, the it was boys, bad. boys were maybe like four months or something like that. Yeah, that was different. And they cried that entire ride. That's man. different than six year olds that have a lot of opinions yeah. and 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 uh, radio requests. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, so we got on the road and they were fine. Yeah. They they did really good. They were big boys. Um, you know they had to pee a lot, but they you know they oh. six. Um, My gosh, yeah. what is up with a bladder of a six-year-old? Yeah, they got These pee. kindergarten bladders are trash. That's why you got to dehydrate them when you get on the road. I tried. Oh, okay. I literally tried. I wouldn't give them nothing to drink. No, they'd Daddy, be thirsty. I'm thirsty. No. They'd be thirsty. You know what I mean, so. I didn't give them anything to drink till we was like an hour out. But you gave them full bottles of smart water. 
or a Cynthia. They were, you didn't see the gangster faces that was in, in looking at me. Like, they I, I were looking them. at me like, either you give me this juice. If I've seen one of the faces, I've seen both of them. Well, yeah. And so, you know, double trouble. It's like, you either give me this juice or I'm fucking you up on site. Yeah, I, and, I And it felt that. like that. So, I had to give Caleb. them what they wanted. It was Caleb. No, nah, it was both of them. It oh, was both okay. of them. They both looked up to me like, daddy. Yeah. It won't even like the sad daddy. Like, oh, I'm so thirsty. It was like, nah, nigga, you know I need something to quench my thirst. Yeah, yeah, I know that look too. Yeah, they yeah. They pieces of shit for real. But um, <laughs> they did really good. They did really good. We went to Charlotte um, from Virginia. So that's about five, five and a half hours. Yep. Um, and we went for a family reunion. Yeah, man. Um, So, you know, just we, we had just been in Charlotte um, for our shows. So we went back down there Mm -hmm. and it was really nice. It was nice aside from mosquitoes. I mean, mosquitoes is out. Naturally. I mean, it wasn't even the mosquitoes for me. No, it was the first night it was mosquitoes. The second night it was gnats. And the thing that's crazy about it is that I know I really don't go outside that much because I forget mosquitoes are outside. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I forget. Like, sometimes you might need a little off to spray on there. or You might, you know, some of the stuff to keep the mosquitoes away because I Mm. never think about it. Um, But I remember first night, like, the things that stick out to me are the things that shouldn't because I'm always worried about food. Mm. And the first night, I gotta find the name of this damn fish. Oh, I found it. For oh, you, you did? Oh, I you found did? it because I seen it in the fish market <laughs> the other day. So the first night, um, we went out there. We got that kind of what's it called? Pompano. P- Pompano. Yeah. We didn't know what the fuck that fish was. The, yeah, because my uncle said it, and well, my cousin said it, and we were I, like, I had a feeling. We were both kind of like, what? Yeah, I had a feeling he wasn't right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but so we went out there the first night, and it was it was cool, like. All the stuff that was like set up to do, like there were games and mm. um, all that kind of stuff. But the first night was a fish fry. Mm. So we went out there. We got there kind of late. It was kind of late already. And um, most people had eaten, but they were frying fish over on the side, like mm. still frying fish. And they were like, you know, there wasn't any fish left. So we was waiting. And we were just like, okay, we're waiting to get some fish because we about to eat. And that's yeah. all we worried about. And yeah. then we got the fish and oh. we were like, what the fuck? Oh, my gosh. Is this fish? Yo, it's something about a black fish fry. It is. That will change your perspective on food, period. Every single. So, and I told this, I already told this to you. Like, when you say, I'm going to have a fish fry. That's specific to fish. <laughs> yes. Like, if the fish is not good, right. what are you doing? Like, if you're having a fish fry, you letting the world know I'm an expert Facts. at cooking fish. Facts. Because that's the star of the show. Ex- I don't give a fuck about sides. We worried about the fish fry. And it did not disappoint. And it's always, all the fish fries I've been to uh-huh. have been black men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is about black men fine fish. Short black fish. men at that. Short, but no. Yeah. Think about it. Oh. Not on the grill. Wow. But the fish fry. Yeah. They always a little bit level to the, um, most of the time the fish is, it's, it's like in, not in the ground, but it's like a stand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and they, you can't, and they can't really see inside the pot, which is good. They can see closer to us cause they, right. they short. Right. So they right, real right. close they to the They just know when it's time to take it out. They know exactly when it's time to take it out. <sighs> I don't know what the time is exact. Cause I can fry fish. Mm-hmm. You've had my fried fish. Right. I Delicious. can fry fish. But it's I don't know what the coating is that they use specifically. The seasoning. I don't I watched I watched him. I watched him take the fish and dip it in the I he didn't do nothing different. <laughs> I've seen that. Wasn't before. no extra step that it was nothing. I said, I I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I could because after I had the first bit piece, I was uh-huh. like, I gotta know what's going on over there. Uh-huh. So I watched him, he looked, took the shit, put it in I'm like, nigga, I do that. Why? <laughs> this I, is my process. I do that. What am I <laughs> doing that's different <laughs> than what he's doing he dropped it in there. he knew exactly when to take it yes. out i'm talking about wasn't Golden. overdone it wasn't burnt it wasn't underdone it was like amazing uh, it, it was, was so, so good. good that when the fish was over i started searching for other parts that might be edible man me too i, I was like, about to eat the fin no i did eat a fin you did she was the fin good it was delicious that shit was <laughs> Fucking and I don't even like fish with bones in it. That's how I knew the fish was good because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't even care. I'm sorry. Excuse me, bones. Like, I was just, <laughs> my bad, bones. I'm sorry. I'm here too. Like, I'm just moving them out the way. Yeah, I wasn't man. even pissed off. I was just like, can you just move over to the side so I can get this meat? And I, yeah, it was beautiful. It was a, it was beautiful. Yeah. I enjoyed it. 
Um, yeah, but we, I mean, we had fun. We went, we went there and it, the second night was like a cookout. Um, I was sad though, because it was supposed to be karaoke and I thought you was preparing all day cause you had been singing all that day <laughs> and you know, you just star the show when it comes to karaoke. Listen, man, you know, karaoke is my jam. And I know you were sad too. Because Any we city had to we leave. come into, let us know about the karaoke spot. Oh my gosh. We did karaoke one time out on the road before and that was in Phoenix. No, we did it twice. Where else did we do it? Richmond. Oh, we did do it in Richmond. We did yeah. it in Richmond and we did it in Phoenix. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we did that and we all we all had a good time. I mean, we were trying to find other things to do during the day when things weren't happening or whatever. But niggas can't read, okay? So I went on my <laughs> Facebook and I was like, yo, in Charlotte looking for something free. And I say free because I put it in all caps. It was big. And everybody that named something to do in Charlotte with kids for free put shit that costs money. Okay. And it's one thing when it's just her and I cost a little money and it ain't really expensive. But when you adding up all the kids and then you put it together, yeah. that should be expensive. So I was looking for free shit. Especially because we were doing something later on. Right. It was just something to kill time. Just kill time. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Um, but it was cool. Um, you know, we had a good time. The hotel we were staying at, there was like a girls basketball tournament or something going on. So it was like a, a lot of... Uh, basketball players that were there it was really cute it was cool not mm -hmm. cute but like they were all young yeah. so like our daughter was 16 it was like people around her age maybe mm -hmm. a little older um and they had that lobby jumping when and we came smelly. back I, what what was it stinky it was a little stinky i wasn't really a little, little locker room but it was a locker room they, they had come from a tournament yeah, but they yeah. had that thing jumping i'm talking about no nah, it was lit it was crowded we thought it was some like I don't know. I'm surprised. If it was like grown people, it would have been bottles and everything out there. I don't know what all of them were doing out there because the, it was the all bar was kids. open too. So yeah, but the adults that were down there were drinking. It was it was a cool vibe, man. And um, the babies uh love to say hi to everyone, so they made themselves known and introduced themselves. Oh, to everybody, not just hi, hi. My name is yeah. This is no. Most of the time, it was uh. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is my Caleb. Yeah, he he has ownership over his ch child brother. So. I I had a I had an analogy earlier today, and you didn't like it. Okay, so Kristen is a bad no, parent. I'm, I'm a, just gonna put that out I'm there. I'm not a bad parent. So, all right, you tell me. We have twins, right? And they're on the spectrum, right? We all know they're amazing. Amazing people. Terrible one of them you are. is three minutes older than the other one, right? Mm. And he treats the one that he's three minutes older than like he's three years older than him. He like three. I mean, three minutes older than like he's three years older. Than yeah. him. He does. He treats him like I gotta take care of him. This is my Caleb. And so we went to go drop him off at school today. Um, they had a doctor's appointment. They came in late, and they have to walk to their classroom. They know where the classroom is. <laughs> They're good. They walk by themselves. And I was like, hold hands. And he was like, they don't need to hold hands. I was like, but they should. It's cute. Just watch them walk away, hold hands. And he was like, he shouldn't hold hands. Like, they shouldn't hold hands because Cameron's going to drag Caleb. Which he was. And I was like, ah, oh, he does. He loves him. I was like, he, he feels like he owns Caleb. I think. This is the bad part. It's not. Just hear me out. I'm not saying this specifically about my child. I'm talking about the mentality. <laughs> <laughs> my child is not this but i think that his brother uses him as this you know how people get emotional support animals there you go so i think that being you know when you like are dealing with anxiety or you know um special needs or whatever sometimes they have emotional support animals or animals that help them with things and it kind of gives them something to do are and it just helps shit? them and I think that he looks, I think Cameron looks at Caleb like he's an emotional support animal. Like, this is my Caleb. I get to take care of Caleb. I kind of tell him what to do. He calms me down. I calm him down. Like, it gives him, it's, all, it's comforting for him to be the boss. And I wasn't saying that my baby is an animal. What I'm saying is, is that maybe his brother looks at him as something he kind of owns and can take care of. And that's that's all I'm saying. I think I'm done, but it's fine. What? Nothing. What? Nothing at all, man. Okay. 
Okay. Nothing at all. Okay, I'm sorry. I love you. Oh, gosh. Um, well, my week was much of the same uh, because we were all together. Um, it was so good seeing my family, man. Like, yeah. it felt like seeing all of my favorites in one place mm -hmm. at one time mm -hmm. felt so refreshing, man. Like, when I walked in, um, usually I'm not good with big crowds of people mm -hmm. that I know because... Well, that's that's weird. I'm, I, I'm I'm just not good with big. I mean, I'm not good with big crowds. Period. But big crowds of people that I know. That makes sense. I'm thinking about it now because you were kind of like that at the wedding. Yeah, you're like the center of attention. And it's yeah. weird. It's it's very weird, and not only weird, but I feel obligated to talk to every single person. Yeah. So you know that was in the back of my mind a little bit. Um, but when I got in there and I just seen everybody, it was like, hey, Rod. I'm like. My family. So mm -hmm. I literally, I I literally took about twenty minutes just going to every because everybody was in little they little groups mm -hmm. and everything. And I went to like for like twenty minutes going around to everybody, giving hugs, laughing, talking to everybody that was there, and that felt so refreshing. Um, in that moment, I was like, damn, like I ain't been around my fam in a minute. That's good. You know, like I I I think because we travel so much, it's you don't realize how much you're not around your family, like your extended family, so to speak. You know what I mean? I do. Like, I, I hardly ever see my family. Yeah, like you don't really see the extended family a lot. So to see them all there, of course, it's family reunion type thing. Well, a cousin's reunion is what we called it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that felt super good. Um, we had soup. We had fun. Like she said, we were playing games. The games got uh, a little heated at one point. Her and my cousin was going back and forth. Um, cause we was playing, uh, what was it? Uh, black. It was like the where yellow, they have the, the, yellow box. the hash, the acronyms Hashtags, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, the acronyms, you right. have to yeah. figure out what they mean. Yeah. And um, her and my cousin were going back and forth. Nah, man. cause she was killing it. And I was tired <laughs> of that shit. I was like, you can't play no more. She was done. It was it, literally her answering all of them. She can't play. Oh yeah. And everybody was taking turns being the host, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was cool seeing everybody's personality. I'm like, I just come from a real personality driven family everybody in your family has main character yeah. energy yeah they really do you put them in a room with other people they're going to be the ones that are doing yes. something yes it, it's really funny to see everybody together and so that means it's extra loud mm -hmm. that means <laughs> that is extra laughs like it's just it was so it was so fun yeah that's um, not bad at all that's that's what you want a family reunion to be yeah everybody yeah. getting along having fun playing games like that's yeah. what you no, most definitely. And then the next night, um, we did uh, we, which was really creative. They did a uh, trivia game, but just about the family. So there were two teams, and basically there were questions, and a person from each team would come up and have to answer a question pertaining to family members mm -hmm. and who they are, things that they did. Like one of the questions was, which out of the uh, out of the uh, the brothers. Were, were the fastest driver um, because, like I said, it was it was the first cousin's reunion. So there, are, um, I want to say about seven or eight siblings all together, and you know, so each of their kids, you know, that was the, you know, the comprising those kids and the kids under them and the kids under them, basically. Um, so like one of the questions, was which brother was the fastest driver? And I'm like, oh shit, I don't even know this answer like at all. I don't, yeah. they, they, you know, I was a kid when they were driving. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but it felt, it, it felt super cool just to learn stuff about your family and everybody just happy and getting along, drinking, smoking, like just chilling, man. Um, but I got sick at the end. I, I caught heat, heat exhaustion. I think. Uh, yep. Yep. Heat exhaustion. Yep. I think. I think so too. Um, because halfway through it, I was fucking like sweating and getting dizzy and my stomach was like real weird. I felt nauseous. Right. So, um, I'm telling Kristen, I, well, I told my mother, I was like, Hey, I think I'm going to cut out early because, um, you know, she, I, I, I thought she was gonna be mad at me mm -hmm. and I was, and she was like, uh, I, but I said, yeah, I'm gonna put the boys down mm -hmm. cause I ain't feeling too well. I'm gonna put the boys down, chill out for a second and we'll be back. She was like, yeah, you come back. We didn't come back. Yeah. Um, yeah. but you know, that's what I told her. So yeah. she wouldn't be on my back. And I told Kristen, Hey, let's, let's about, you know, hurry up and go. Um, and I don't know what was taking so long, uh, with you 
and Caden, like y'all were talking to something. And I just said, well, let me bring the boys. If I bring the boys, then maybe that'll help, help them hurry up. Mm -hmm. So me and the boys, we walk and we walk in. And my thing was, I don't want to say bye to one person, because if I say bye to one person, you got to say bye to everyone. Mm -hmm. And the way I was feeling, it, it was not time for that. So I get to the gate without any incident until one of my cousins come up mm -hmm. and she start talking. Mad energy. I think she's a listener, as a matter of fact. Oh, um, Lord. <laughs> and, um, you know, she started talking. We, we, No, no, she's not a listener. Uh, she watches a lot of the clips online. Yeah. Um, so we're talking and just talking and my face, I thought red, this ain't the time to talk, mm. but it wasn't. At one point I put my head down, like as she's talking, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she, I don't know if she didn't get the hint or what, but I was damn near on my deathbed. It was so bad. I let Kristen drive. Not that Kristen can't drive, but I have anxiety. He don't let with nobody other people drive. Driving. But I let Kristen drive. I was like, yo, you you can. She was like, you want me to drive? Yes. I took off my shirt and everything as soon as we get left out the uh out the area, whatever. But um, but other than that. No, ain't no other than that. The story goes on because the one time he let me oh. drive. <laughs> Oh my God! The it's one, dark though. It's really dark. It's one of them places, you know, when you a lot of the neighborhoods like there's a big house, mm -hmm. and well, in the country there's like neighborhoods where all the, the big houses are around them. There's not really much of anything, so you get out the neighborhood and there's like st no street lights and it's just dark and woods and all this other shit. So we're driving, mind you, I got three of the kids in the car and I got mm -hmm. him. He's not feeling good. Whatever. We're halfway to the hotel because it's only about eight minutes away right. from where the house is. Right. And this deer jumps out <laughs> of the fucking forest. Out of fucking nowhere. And just charges towards us. I don't know what the fuck to do. And I stop, which might not have been the best idea, but I didn't know what the fuck to do because we were literally, he was probably a foot away from yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And then stopped got scared and turned back around. Yeah, like, oh, my bad, niggas. And the first thing I said was, <laughs> baby, I ain't do it. It was the big... I was like, the dude just came out of nowhere. He was like, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I was like, hey, the one time you let me drive because you don't feel good, a fucking deer was like... <laughs> it's like he came out the woods and was like, don't let that bitch do it again. And then ran back in. <laughs> All right, bye. And then, like, ran back out. I was like, hey... <laughs> Thought nature was on my side. I didn't oh, know. Shit. And this is why you can't let your woman drive. You man. gotta stop. <laughs> Cause they gonna find that deer. Okay. I feel like she was searching for that shit. My favorite part about the reunion was finding out that I was married to the oldest <laughs> of the baby cousins. Yes. Well, not the baby cousins. Well, so. the the first the the. First cousin, the, si the, the sibling, the, the, um, the, the children, children of, of the, the first cousin, the first cousin right. that I was married to the oldest one. I'm not the oldest. Erica is. Well, she wasn't there at the time. Erica <laughs> left. <laughs> Erica had left. So in the picture, it looks like you the oldest. I was like, I was looking around. Y'all went. They were like, all right, all the children, and y'all went to go take the picture. And I was like, niggas, he don't. And but see, here's the messed up part, right? <laughs> Here go the messed up part. It's not only that I am the oldest. Well, I am the ma the oldest male, mm -hmm. but it's the problem that everybody under like th maybe three or four of us, like me, Ro, Richie, Mika, and uh, me, Ro, Richie, Mika, and and, and Erica. Mm -hmm. After us, they young young. It's like a 10, 15 year, they young, young. 20 year age gap. Yeah. And then it's all of them. And I'm like, man, I really look like the old nigga in here yeah. right now. Yeah. It was boy. And then it was funny to, I had to take a picture at, as the in-laws. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the youngest one in there. <laughs> but it was like in-laws of like the cousins the co and yeah, the, the, kids cousins, the cousins. The kids, the cousins. But I was like, like yeah. I'm, a, I'm a wife. I'm an in-law. <laughs> I've never been. I'm just now getting to the point. I think y'all know, like I'm I'm trying to realize that I'm older. Like that you're an adult. On period. our on our Hulu account in our house, <laughs> the shit says no, on Netflix, uh -huh. it says mom and dad. And I said, who the fuck is mom? Yeah, yeah. Because we was using, hey, Netflix, you you are right. We was using my mom's account before. <laughs> <laughs> so I so was mom like, was. Yeah, it was yeah. my mama. And then I clicked on it. I was like, nigga, I just watched that. This me. 
<laughs> that's crazy. That's me. I don't know. I'm trying oh, to figure man. it out, but it was it was a good it was a good really good time. Overall, I'm yeah. glad we got a chance to get away for not work purposes. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, and hopefully not that we, get we to don't do it again. like getting out for work. No, no, we love that, yeah. but you know, it, it's different when you have the kids with you, man, because they're they're experiencing things for the first time. And I, I get really sad when we leave because I don't like leaving my kids. I know a lot of people do. Mm. You're one of them, but I don't like leaving my kids. I I would love to bring them every time because that way I just know where they are. I know they're safe. I know they're with me. Mm. They're not missing me. Like I know all of those things. So yeah. like being with them, it was weird because like our parents watch them when we're gone. And on the way back, I was like, oh, I don't have to call to check on the kids. They in the car. <laughs> no, call and tell them that we on the way. Yeah, we on the way. Like, yeah. they in the car. Like, but it was it was good. I was I was happy to see. They were so excited. We said road trip, and them boys talked about the road trip the entire yes, time. They were yes. like, ooh, road trip bathroom. Yeah, everything road, was road trip something. <laughs> road trip room, road trip bluey, bl road trip, like all this stuff. I was like, okay. The hardest thing to do is after teaching a child manners, Take uh, using the bathroom to unteach them that when you're in public bathrooms. For instance, dirty ass gas station bathroom, you don't flush the toilet. You don't even touch the toilet. You step your ass back, piss, and get it done with. Sometimes you wash your hands, sometimes you can't wash your hands because it's so dirty around it. Um, no. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you, you talking about? You have to wash your hands. You can, sometimes there's so much nastiness that I you I think that's can. just men's bathrooms. Maybe. Because I well, will find you know a way to I wash my it, hands. I think it was because we. I took one twin into the bathroom um, and I was, and remember I came back out, I was like, yo, this is just too nasty. Like he peed, but that, that's it. And then the other twin was just adamant about using the bathroom. So I said, fuck it. This time I'll go into the ladies' bathroom. And when I went to the ladies' bathroom, I was like, nigga, this is a world of fucking difference. Wait. So y'all didn't wash your hands in the bathroom? Some of the bathrooms. Baby. Some bathrooms were just too nasty. But don't you think that nasty. if it's nasty, you're supposed to wash Not, your hands? Well, first of all, these bathrooms didn't have soap. The ones that I'm talking about, they didn't Did have soap. Did you use sanitizer? Be... Yeah, of course. But, you know, we couldn't touch. We didn't okay. want to touch it. I just wanted to get that out the way. Yeah, no, because I didn't, wanna... I didn't want you to be like, we just, it was so nasty. We didn't wash our Listen, hands. Listen, sometimes you we can't. We didn't do nothing? Sometimes you can't touch shit. You can't be, because it's fucking Discuss, maybe That's you also to, if you don't have an air thing, you take a paper towel and you touch stuff and I, then throw yeah, it away. Yeah, if they have paper towels. Well, as long as you use sanitizer. Yeah. I didn't want you to just be in there and my baby's hands didn't get washed because now that's even nastier. I mean, listen, some to, what to touch your penis, baby. It's if it's nasty in there already. Like, you touch your penis. You no, don't flush the toilet. Man. You don't touch the toilet seat. You think penises are clean? I would hope so. You put it in your mouth. We talking about babies. Why do you even have to cleaner. be so nasty? Even cleaner. But that's still that's still your private part. Listen, I would rather touch my penis and not wash my hands than goddamn touch the goddamn faucet that has fucking salmonella poisoning on the goddamn what thing. What am I learning right now? You're learning that nasty. And you said salmonella like they cooking chicken in the bathroom. You should have seen these bathrooms. There was salmonella on that shit. But you say it, you didn't wash your hands. It was one bathroom that we didn't wash anything. We said, fuck it. We're going, you know, you, you keep, keep the door a little cracked with your foot. All right, go ahead, pee-pee. Don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. Don't touch. And trying to understand, because they, they just want to flush everything to the point where I was like, oh, man, the toilet don't flush, bruh. Toilet don't flush. Then you got to teach them how to step back from the urinal sometimes because the urinal be dirty and nasty as fuck. So you got to step back a little more. And then you got to really aim to hit the joint. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking disgusting, man. Men's bathrooms. It, 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 deplorable, man. But that wasn't all the bathrooms. Some of the bathrooms were really clean. Like, you know, you gotta go to the oh, restaurant. See, my my trick. This is so gross. My I can't trick is I, I go to hands. hotels. I go to hotels anytime I have to go to the bathroom, especially number two. I, I I'll go to a hotel to handle my business so that I know it's a little clean, clean, cleaner. Because well, most of the time, maybe you should have done that. I didn't know you wasn't in there washing hands. Well, listen, they had the, the these little fucking bladders that they got. Nothing about this sounds good. It's not making up for the fact that they didn't wash their it's hands. It's because you a girl, man. You don't understand. No, man. you gotta wash your hands. You can't wash your hands if there's no soap, no paper towel, and the goddamn faucet nasty. 
It's all right. I'm going to take you to a guy's bathroom, a uh, gas station. Bathroom. I just want somebody, at least in the YouTube comments, to tell me that they wash their hands every time. They and it can't bathroom. be a girl. Because y'all don't fucking know. Unless you got little boys and you take them into the bathroom. And then you do know. I think just as people, we should be washing our hands. No, I, I listen, I believe in washing my hands. We washed our hands 88% of the time that we used the bathroom. We just had a whole pandemic um, and niggas <laughs> that was bathroom is how the pandemic started. I am sure. Of yeah, because people like you was walking out without washing their no, hands. No, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, great trip. I enjoyed. You wash your it. hands today? What when I use the bathroom? Uh, you know, whenever. Yeah. Okay. What about when you use the bathroom? Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> ain't no more dick sucking ain't no more listen if I don't wash my hands it don't matter you still suck the penis I'm not doing it no more now that I have the information I was why y'all like my penis is dragging across the toilet well now your penis is being touched by hands that ain't been washed and you touching other things and you want that to go in my mouth and now you wonder what you not thinking about the placement, man? I'm thinking about the placement in my mouth and how it's not gonna be in there no more because that's nasty. <laughs> that's disgusting. She gonna suck dick again. I'm not sucking no dick, especially because I'm gonna bring sanitizer in the bedroom. Listen, we had I'm gonna sanitize your pee pee. You gonna get it in the hole? Yo, you're not. And that's the only way I'm gonna suck <laughs> it. I'm gonna clean it with some lemons and some Epsom this salt. This is gonna be nasty in your mouth. I'm gonna clean it with some pink salt and some lemons. <laughs> some Himalayan the salt. The same, the same way people clean chicken. <laughs> Throw some vinegar on that bitch. And, Cause that's nasty. If I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna clean it like I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Speaking of that, man, I don't know what what, what was the smell last, yesterday. What smell? The nut. Oh, it smelled like flowers. Yeah, like has anybody ever had that where you you you're only eating vegetables and, I, and now it smelled like clean. It smelled like flowers. Flowers, but it also smelled like like regular flour, like yeast, like dough. Not yeast, but dough, like yeasty dough. Not yeasty dough. It didn't smell like. An STD. It no. smelled like, <laughs> not that I know what that scent is like. I have no idea, but it smelled like fresh baked dick. It smelled. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the title for today. Uh, no, you can't name it that. <laughs> you can't. Fresh baked dick. That's what it smelled like, but it was pleasant. I did have it in my mouth that day, but <laughs> it was pleasant. See, y'all, I do suck dick. <laughs> no, listen, ever since we had that talk a couple of weeks ago, man, she been putting on a, a dick sucking clinic out here, yo. I, I just, I, that day, it was, it was refreshing. Ref yep. It was nice. <laughs> it was a, it was sunny yeah. outside. It was, it was during the daytime. Um, <laughs> it was just, it smelled Good, you know. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it was it was great, man. Like I, I just yeah, y'all ever have a moment when you're just sitting there and it's like, oop, horniness. Like it just come out of nowhere. Like you're not watching anything, you're not thinking about nothing. It's just your body say, We are horny right now. I told you I woke up in the middle of the night horny, and you were like, Were you having dreams? I said, No, I was just thinking about traveling and I was thinking about stress and maybe the stress <laughs> produced horniness maybe because it was like you got to release something because you're stressed yeah and i it was i won't think about nothing sexy i'm literally thinking about traveling and meta and that doesn't turn me on <laughs> nothing about instagram and facebook turns me on but i don't know yeah it was wild yeah. it was wild but yeah we we, we got it completed what a time all right um let's get to our part that we love so much <laughs> We just love this. Because I did it before. You ain't and never give a nigga buttons. Why don't you write on the button so you know what it is? No, because I might want to change it one day. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. Um, today's list is the top six things that were too freaky back in the day. Yeah. For us, for our back in the day. I know we have listeners that had way back in the day. They had some yeah. shit going down in the 40s, but we not talking about that. <laughs> we know. We, yeah, we, we talking was, about for us. Wild. Yeah, for, for us. us. For, for us. us. Yeah. Mind you, if you were 80-year-old listening to this show, 
I commend you. They be, yo. I commend you. Our, our listeners are so, it's such a wide range. Yes, yeah, very diverse. Um, And I love that because a lot of it doesn't make me feel like I'm going crazy because they're like, no, nah, we've been through that. <laughs> we did that. Like, did that back in the 70s. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, man. But nah, uh, so these are the things that are just, when you think about it, it was hella freaky for back in the day. Just, yeah. man. Freaky. Now, some of it, y'all might be like, oh, that's child's play. But it, it, it was back in the day, you was a nasty. It was freaky for us. You was nasty yes, if you was man. participating in any of these activities. Yes, even if you don't think you were. And some of these are, are pretty, yeah. you know, down But when you nine, look but... back, when you look back, no, if nasty. your parents caught you <clears throat> doing any of these things, you would have gotten in trouble. Oh, yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Absolutely. That, may, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. If your parents caught you. You were in trouble. Mm -hmm. You were in trouble, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's go to number six. You want to go first? Me go first? What? Uh, you first. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, number six. Hide and go get. Remember that game? Yeah, we called it hide and go get it. I never knew what it was. It was. And what was just get? Get what? Get it. What was it? It. You know. Whatever happened though, because I think I think they we thought we were playing that, but nobody got anything. Listen, all right. So how didn't go get? Not when I played it. Nobody got anything. Well, okay. You want to say something? I guess you hit you for a long wanna, time then. No, I wasn't that good. I wasn't that good. I'm, <laughs> I wasn't that good. Oh, uh, for me, how didn't go get was basically like how didn't go seek. But when a person finds you, it's not like oop. Caught you, you it. Nah, it was like, oop, caught you. Let me see your pit. What? Yeah, like, you know, see shit. For real? Yeah, you gotta see shit or you gotta touch shit or you gotta kiss them. Something like that. Oh. Suck a titty. Like, I remember that. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta get it. I heard stories <clears throat> about those games, but most of my games I played with my cousins, so we wasn't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ain't have enough childhood friends. I thought I did. How yeah, I don't get. think how to go get is for your family Ye members. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. But nah, how to go get, man, that was a freaky nasty game that you shouldn't be playing when you're 10, 11, 12 years old. You know what I mean? But it happened. It happened. Just just live with it, okay? Somebody saw your stuff before they should have seen your stuff. That's, and that's nasty. You that's, nasty. You nasty. You know what I mean? Ew. Oh, my gosh. Don't be it. Don't be it, because that was the nastiest one. The person that was it. Because you was trying to go find it. You Everybody. You searching it out. Hell yeah. Where's that? Where's that? That is some creepy shit now that, that you is, think about that it. Some How to go shit. get is just like stalker training. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. You running drills. Yeah. And stalker. Man. Yeah. Terrible. Stalker drills. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Number five. Uh the one nine hundred numbers. Mm. Um mm -hmm. did you ever call any of them? Hell no. I was afraid. Well, okay, this is what happened. Damn, that's crazy. I would have called a one nine hundred number if I hadn't called a Santa Claus number before that. Remember when they used to come on TV? Santa Claus used to come on TV. Yeah. And he was like, call me and ho, ho, ho. And you could tell me about all the gifts you want. And I called one of those Santa oh, joints. You would. And, you would. And, 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 you know, you you, you get you get that initial charge. And then you get charged 99 cents each time. Oh, I didn't know they charged for each that. Each minute. Hell yeah. I didn't know either. I thought... I thought it was just call Santa and I called Santa and I don't know how long I was up there, but I remember my mama telling me that I was in trouble mm -hmm. and she didn't just tell me it was the eighties. So you already know what went down. Yeah. 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 So I didn't, I never got to the, by the time one 900 numbers seemed, uh, 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 uh attractive to mm -hmm. me, I had already had my Santa Claus issue. So I said, yeah. fuck it. I'm not doing it. I didn't know which one to do because I didn't know if I wanted to talk to a phone sex operator or if I wanted to talk to Miss Cleo. I think <laughs> I was between both. I was like, which number do I call? I don't know which. There are so many things. I could hear some moans, which could be interesting, or this lady with this accent could tell me, you know, when I'm going to die, like my future. I'm going to tell you, I wanted to call Miss Cleo and all of those psychics so many times, like literally, I will call yeah. and hang up. You know, because I didn't want to get in trouble. I there was um out here in Virginia, there's like a psychic that is on like Virginia not Beach far Boulevard. from here. She been there forever. 
I'm starting to think that she knows what she's talking about because <laughs> <laughs> she's been there since I was little. And it ain't like no little small shop. It's like this huge white house. It got her name on it. Look, it's yeah. established. I'm starting to think that lady know what the fuck she's she doing might. in there. She might. Or at least she had the foresight yeah. to know that she would be there that long. Yeah. Ooh. She's showing ooh. in the future. She real. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's mm. me. That's there me. she go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are the top six things that were too freaky back in the day. Number four, playing house. <sighs> Man. Man. You're nasty. Man. You're nasty. And you know what goes with that too, right? Playing doctor. Playing house and playing doctor. You were nasty. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be the wife all the time. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to be the husband all the time. Mm -hmm. You ain't never wanted to be a kid. You ain't never wanted to be the kid. You, never you wanted to, to lay kid. down with your wife and, and, and kiss and hug and, oh and, and all that. Yeah, There's you're nasty. There's so many things wrong with that. I was the husband so many times. I man. know. You probably requested. <laughs> Sometimes you a little freaky, and then ass. other times it was like, "Nah, you playing husband today." I'm like, "Me? Okay." It was. It, it was an honor. It was technically an honor. It's it's so many things wrong with it when you look back Hell at it. Hell yeah! But like when we was kids, it, it's just you know what you know what it was. It was soap operas. Soap operas did that maybe us. because maybe it was always some kissing or something on soap operas, and we always had to sit down and watch them mm -hmm. with a grandmother mm -hmm. or a uh, auntie, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what we we were really playing soap opera. Hell yeah! Only thing you needed was a Newport, and you was good. Yeah. You know I mean? No, if it was in my if it was my house, it was Virginia Slim. Super Virginia Slim, Slim, Super Slim. With, men, with menthol. <laughs> with menthol, man, I had to go get that so many times. I ain't never forget. <laughs> my grandma. So stayed yes, one. your nasty ass was playing house. Yeah, ugh. that's ugh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Learning stuff you had no business learning at that age, and you didn't really learn nothing anyway. <sighs> man, humping. Just a hump. Remember humping? Yeah, With your man. clothes on? What a time. Humping. You know, what a time. Humping was, humping was third base back in the what day. What a time. I'm telling what you. What a time humping was. <laughs> what a time. Oh, my gosh. What a <laughs> All right. Number three. Uh, I will. Um, all right. Number three. Uh, it seems like a lot of the stuff that was way too nasty was um, on the phone. Okay. Uh, the chat line. Mm. I don't know how many of y'all was fucking with the chat line back in the day, but the chat line out here, um, I would get on the chat line with my cousins. Sometimes, <sighs> I was heavy in church back in the day, right? Oh, Lord. So sometimes we would like... Or we would be there for other people's choir rehearsals, like our parents had choir rehearsals or something. We would go in the choir room, which was like a small room, where we were just like all in there and we would get on the chat line. Fucking Jezebel. In on the church phone. You was Jezebel. And my cousins who were older than me met so many guys on the chat line. Some of them went to school with them. They weren't like older, mm -hmm. I don't think, but I don't know. But like some of them went to school with them. And a lot of the times the meeting place back then was for them to meet them at the skating rink. Okay. Okay. I never did any of those things, but I always listened in on the chat line. As I got older, though, and I got in high school, I started getting on the chat line with my friends. Damn, chat line was still around when you was in high school? Man, what happened? I remember, because um, you always had your messages that you leave up there, so uh, people would come and you'd listen to the voicemails or whatever, and you'd, you'd have your messages. This one dude, um, Say Yes by Flow Tree was out. Uh-huh. And his message was him ad libbing over say yes. And I still remember that version to this day because we kept listening to it over and over again. Was it good? It was so, he sang the fuck, he could have been ugly as hell. I don't know. <laughs> but he, his message was so inviting. Everybody was leaving him messages. Like he, it, I remember that version, his ad libs in my ear. Oh my God. It was uh, it was so good. But so wait, so a person would leave a voicemail. You leave your message, and then if you like the message, you send them a message. If they like your message, you can connect live and talk to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they okay. was doing it. Or you go in the chat rooms where it's the big chat room, and then you get in the chat room where everybody's screaming over each other, and then sometimes you get the people that were blowing the phone. Oh, yeah. You know you know why I know about this? They was pieces of shit. Because I never I never actually did it. Yeah. Um, I had a... Well, I, I was around when one of my boys uh, got on the chat line and talked to this girl, and they ended up dating for like 10 years. It was a connection maker, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one of my boys, uh, Jay... Um, he told me he used to get on the chat line and talk like Cat Williams. 
Of course he fucking did. And everybody thought that it was Cat Williams in the oh, chat Oh, that line. is such a superpower to have yeah. on a chat line. Yeah, yeah. Because you also had the creepy people that was up there lying about their age and mm. doing whatever else. But then you had the people, if they sounded good, you mm. wanted to talk to them. Yeah, he would, he would definitely do that. Like, he would just go up there just... Being Cat Williams and doing other voices and all that. As a matter of fact, shout out to Jay because uh, his show just came out. Quiz with Balls. Quiz with Balls. We was yeah. talking about that. I was like, that's such a wild name. Yeah, it's a crazy <laughs> name. But uh, it just came out. Uh, it just premiered yesterday, man. So shout out to him, the new host of the new game show. Quiz no, but with I Balls. thought that was so, I thought it was so funny. Um, when you were in the big chat room with everybody and there would be this one nigga in there and nobody was really talking to him and uh -huh. they would be like... <sighs> in the mic and he would just keep doing that and you can't kick them out or do shit like they just in there blowing and then you just have to <laughs> jump to another chat room because this nigga was in there fucking up the vibe but in Man. hindsight it was freaky because some of them one on ones you was moaning you was having phone sex oh wow yeah, yeah absolutely you, you know why I never did a chat line though back then I had no talk game whatsoever yeah. Like, I didn't know what to say. It was so weird to be on the phone with somebody that I didn't know and spark a conversation out of nowhere. And I just wanted to touch their little vaginas. So it was like... Don't say... He was also a little yeah, guy. Yeah, a little guy. He yeah, was little. Yeah. Don't say so, they little vaginas. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what the fuck to say to, I've to been get on, it. I've been on a chat line as an adult. It's not the same as that chat line, but it's like the chat lines where people are going there for phone texts. I've been on that. Is that the one I've they, done they it show before. on BET? Uh, I don't know. I've I, I probably I've done it before. It's really? been I mean, it's been a long time, but I've gone to listen. Yeah. Oh wow! Did you get a nut off of it? Yeah, I did one time. <laughs> I did one time. Oh man, these are the top six things that were too freaky back in the day. Number two, HBO. Just everything the about network. it. Everything about it. And specifically, real sex. And taxi cab confessions. But you know what? You know what I hated about real sex? It because wasn't really sex. At that age, like, nigga, I don't care about fetishes. They exactly. would show, like, oh, I want, I love piercings, and that turns... I don't give yeah. a fuck about that. I want to see some fucking. I just wanted to see a titty. Yeah. That's all I wanted to see Sometimes was a titty. Sometimes there were titties, but they weren't fun titties. No, every episode had at least two titties. Yeah, but it would be like a titty. In between. And maybe she was painting a mural. Exactly. And I'm like, I don't exactly. give a shit about that. But if you knew how to jerk just right, it would be a glimpse of a titty. It would be like her back painting a mural, but you know she naked, so ooh, real sex. <laughs> but like, I don't give a fuck about this tree you paint, bitch. I want you to fuck. <laughs> fuck in that forest. Do that. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, that and Taxi Cab Confessions. Taxi Cab Confessions. Had some stuff on it. Yeah, man. They, had some shit they, they was talking that freaky shit yeah. a lot of times. That's man. if you wanted to listen to words, man. But nobody, sometimes you don't. Baby, nobody wanted to listen to words. You wanted to see sex because of what it was. You little freak. But if you were into story, when I was, I didn't care about that then. I mean, now mm. I care about how we got there. I care about the story. <laughs> I'm all for the story now. But when it was just then, I was like, I just want to see some sex. <laughs> Ew. Well, HBO was the show, for, was the network for you back then. And and I guess. Cinemax. Cinemax. Yeah, Skinamax. Cinemax. Skinamax. Oh, my gosh. Late night. Boy, man. it was always hungry. Where you wouldn't see no vaginas, no dicks, no nothing. <laughs> it was just always side profiles of them humping. That soft porn. Yeah, man. soft porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was soft porn it. used to get me right for a while. Yeah, because I wasn't. I don't know if I was ready for real porn. To be honest with you, I think it might have been too much. No, for me. I was. I was. It might have been too much for me. I think. I think the soft porn was like I know what's happening. When we, well, I'll ask this a little later because okay. it's a topic that comes. With okay. That. Um, we are at the number one. Thing that was too freaky back in the day. Um, I think this is one that is relatable to everybody. Mm. Everybody knows about it. Um, mm. The squiggly lines on pay-per-view. Mm. When the lines moved, I mean, in Technicolor. When the, <laughs> when the lines was moving, and me specifically, I'd be laid out on the couch in like my grandma's house or something like that. And there was a door to their living room at the time. Okay. So the door would be closed and I'd be in there, sleep, quote unquote. And then I would be watching the thing. But if I heard footsteps, you know, you first you got to have your hand on the volume button and the last button. Last button. The last button yeah. and the volume button. 
And if I had it on the volume button, I could still skip through because there were a couple of channels that were squiggly. Uh Not all of them were the porn ones, but that's the one that you was looking for. Right. So I could just act like I was skipping through channels and it wouldn't do nothing. Man, listen, I'm squiggly line. So my mother used to work for a cable company. Oh, man. So we had all of the freaking channels, like including Playboy. We didn't have Spice, though. So, so I had, so I would watch the Playboy channel at night when nobody was looking. Yeah, you know I mean, and, and and get a little, little hot and bothered. You know what I'm saying? But the spice, it was them squiggly lines. But boy, you you look good enough. Like you squint just mm-hmm. enough. Mm-hmm. You, you 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 can see a whole vagina. That's probably like your vision without without context. Now, huh? Everything just like squiggly lines. I'm gonna masturbate in front of you without your context in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just bring you back. <laughs> Let's take it back. <laughs> I'm back. Oh man, way back. I'm just gonna be me looking like squiggly lines. I hate <laughs> you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, that's a good role play. Act like I'm a Samsung, and you are. You know you you. No. You can sit on the couch. I'll sit on a TV stand. You take your glasses, your contacts out, like no glasses, no contacts, nothing. And I'm just on a TV stand masturbating and act like it's a Spice Channel back in the day. I'm not doing but this But you don't you. have good cable. I'm not doing Why? this with you. Man. Nobody ever thought of that as role play. I'm Everybody's not- like, ooh, teacher student. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to play 91. That's what I'm playing. <laughs> I want to play 1991. That's what I want to play. I'm not doing this with you, man. <laughs> um, that right there were the top six things that were too freaky <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> If you have something that was too freaky, leave it in the comments and uh, we'll explore together on how nasty we was back in the day, man. Yeah. Um, let's get into the question of the day. Man, uh, we an hour in. That's crazy. I know, man. We got to hurry up. I got to change the battery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, question of the day. Worst pickup lines you've heard or said? No one's ever really used pickup lines on me. Did somebody use a pickup line with you yesterday? Um, he didn't really use a pickup line. He just drove past me playing panty dropper. Um, and was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just got in the car. So it wasn't really a pickup line, but he turned panty dropper up when he rolled past me. That's kind of a pickup line. Is it? This right here is a panty dropper. If we being honest, I think that it was already planned. And I think he restarted it when he went past me so I could hear it. Because you got to hear that. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, fuck train songs. But like. Um, you know how I feel, but um, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, VA all day. I don't know, whatever. You put up two V's. I don't. That's a W. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know man. Oh, uh, for I'm um, pickup line. You know what? My pickup line was always if because I didn't really have too many pickup lines. Mm-hmm. Like once I learned how to talk to women, it was like you need a pickup line, you just talk. Um, but it will always my my intro line will always be something around the lines of why are you not smiling though? <gasps> oh. Or why are you so mad? Oh that shit will work though. Oh, that's so disgusting. I'm not mad. Well, that's why are you working? Why so, you ain't got no smile on your face? That's so I ain't got nothing to smile about. Do you oh, know word. how many women hate that one hey. specifically? Hey, listen, they didn't hate it. Ones I was saying, didn't and why it. I can't just be going around my day with a regular face? Why I got to smile? Why I got to put on a show for you? I see, see, and and that's the ones that I'm like, chill out. Why it you not smiling? Why you not smiling? Why you not smiling? You you know what? I know I'm a piece of shit because I'd have been like, you know what? I'm not smiling today because. I don't know. I woke up and my back was hurting, man, and I couldn't get my back together. And then I went. I tried to get coffee, and they didn't have no coffee. Like I would just make up shit. And, and tell you about my whole entire day. And if you was talking that much, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. Well, you asked me. So evidently you want to know. And so I'd be like, oh, man, that's fucked up. Now I walk away. I don't know, man. My boss getting on my nerves. You know, they they talking about firing me and like, why? I'm like, why are they going to fire a bitch like me? Do I look like I should be fired? Like, yeah. I would just start that See, conversation. If you just said, if you just said somebody fired me, then I would, you know, that brings the intro. Oh, word. That's crazy. Where you work? Ew. Oh, what do you do? The, see the 
The goal of a pickup line is just to start conversation. Now, don't most ask of them are me terrible. Why I'm not smiling? Why? What? Why are you not smiling? What's like, the matter? I don't know. It's hot outside. I'm listen. I'm very endearing, man, and 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 I'm very uh uh uh. I, I know how to put put pull. I know how to show empathy. So, it's, oh man, why are you not smiling? No, you don't. What? Well, that's how I know it. No, them shits work though, man. You don't know how to show empathy. When I'm when I'm running game, I do. You know how to look like you show empathy. Yeah. No, don't ask me that. <laughs> Why are you not smiling? Because sometimes I just want to have a straight face. <laughs> sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes, ew, gross. Ew. Hey, hey, man, listen, I don't use them no more, but you know, when I, I did. Mm-mm. Why are you not smiling? And it was always the pretty one that wasn't smiling because for some reason pretty girls walk around with the bitchiest faces. Or maybe we don't want to put on a show. Oh, you pretty? I don't know. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> God. Not today. I'm playing with you, Not baby. today. But yeah. Mm. Ugh, that's gross. Nah, nah. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, I... um. Oh, somebody, I, I, they nobody put this as an answer, but I saw this come across my timeline today for some odd reason. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, somebody said, what was the pickup line? Um, I heard you like studs. I already got the STD. All I need yeah, is you. Yeah, that, that was one of them. Oh, okay. You, you, you see? Well, I didn't know. I, the it horse. wasn't, but it wasn't an answer. Yeah, it was. Oh, well, I saw it as like somebody's post. Oh, damn. Yeah. Caught before the horse, man. Right yeah. there. See? Yeah, sorry. Damn. My bad. You didn't even say it right. What? I already got the STD. All I need is you. Oh, you said that part. Okay. All I need is you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's get into your answers. Uh, it wasn't a lot of them because it wasn't a lot of good or like really good ones or really bad ones. So, yeah. Uh, somebody said, want to fuck? Use it, <laughs> use it about a dozen times in my youth. Work exactly once. Sounds about right. I want to know how it went after that one time. Yeah, bad. The worst pickup lines you've heard or said. I hope you drive buses because I want to put my kids in you. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. That is, <laughs> that is wild. Is- um, I don't have any more snacks, but I'm a snack. When in fact, dude was an expired corn chip. Damn. Damn. Ooh, that's my stuff. I mean, that, that's also a snack. Um, what? <laughs> What's the worst pickup line you've uh, you've heard or said? You want to race, and then they said I'm on crutches. Listen, I've seen it work though. You want to race? Yes, I've seen that pickup line work. You have to have hella charisma. Hella personality and a great smile. But if you put all those things together, that line works. Okay. I'm dead ass, man. I've seen it with my own two eyes, man. (laughs) Uh, Damn, you find it in the print at the bottom of a contract. Where do I sign? (laughs) That's funny. That's funny. Oh, man. Uh, Somebody said, where your boyfriend at? I hate that one. No, man. You know what? What's crazy is I was going to use that line until I was having a conversation at work with my homegirl and she was talking about, and I hate when men say, where your man at? Where your man at? He, you know what I mean? And she was so angry. I said, well, never using that line. Yeah, because what do you mean? Why do I have to have a man? Yeah, man. Well, uh, but why? Why do you ask that? Because you're so beautiful. You got to have somebody that snatched you Or up. I could just be beautiful. Why they got to snatch me up? Why I can't snatch them up? See? Where I your boyfriend you. at? Um, hey, shorty, instead of using shoddy. I sounded like a nerd. I get that. Hey, shorty. Hey, shorty. Hey, shorty. But nah, nah. See, but shoddy is down south. Shorty, you know, is up top. So, you know, it's Don't a little different. This. Shorty, shorty used to be the joint. Wait, hold on. What's one of the worst pickup lines that you've heard or said? I have a tattoo of cherries on my arm. This man acted like he picked them and ate them, then just stared at me. That's funny. I'm just trying to imagine. (laughs) Uh, All right, somebody said, do you have a Band-Aid? I scraped my knee falling for you. Aw. I hate y'all. That's kind of cute. I I hate y'all. That's kind of cute, though. Um. Do you work in Subway? Because when I see you, I get a foot long. <laughs> Yo, that's nasty. That's a creep. That's run. Also very. You got to yeah, run. No. <laughs> this uh, is a good one. This is a good one. Works at least 70% of the time. Do you smoke? Yes. How? Weed. Weed be. What? Weed is the ultimate. What if I say no? Line. 
Then what you gonna say after I that? said seventy percent of the time you part of the thirty piece. But the seventy, yo, you smoke. You don't want to talk to me no more because I don't smoke. Nah. All right. Yo, you, you 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 smoke. This is why. This is why I can't. What? I would never survive. Like I barely survived dating. That's <laughs> why so niggas. Nah, but because it, it's very it's very unassuming. You know what I mean? And usually when you smoke, you start having conversations. I always got to challenge stuff. That's my problem. Yeah, that's your I don't problem. I how man. to let that's, things happen. That's why you ended up with me, man. Ah, man. You could have had somebody way better. I could have. Man. You fucked up. That's crazy. <laughs> What a life. Oh, um, somebody said I lost my phone. Can I I lost my phone number? Can I have yours? Boo. Hey, hey, that's terrible. That's terrible. But Boo. I can see how I can make somebody giggle. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the one that you said. Yeah. And finally. There's something wrong with my eyes. I can't take them off you. FYI, FYI it didn't work on me. Oh man. Mm. Oh, well, that, that, that was some cool ones. Like I said, they, I, well, first of all, I put the question today up super late, mm -hmm. so I didn't get uh, a bunch of answers, but also a lot of the answers I did get were trash, so I was like, I'm not even going to bother y'all with that. I thought there were some, what, I, there were some on Instagram that I saw. Uh, I'd seen two, but that was at the beginning, so maybe there's some more up there real quick. Mm, I don't know. Sorry. I got to find it. It's, I don't know where you put it, so. It's at the end. I'm sure. There you go. You missed it. Uh huh. Real quick. Pill, How you pull doing? It up. Uh, your yeah, name must be too. Mary Jane because you're smoking. Whoa. That's terrible. Um, I want you has to definitely be the most annoying one. I want you. Mm -hmm. See, I don't. I don't. You can't use that as a pickup line. Like I want you is too creepy as a first line to say to somebody. But when you when 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 y'all hot and heavy kissing a little bit, I want you, man. What? Yeah, like when you're in it, yeah, but like yeah. don't don't walk past me and say that. <laughs> hey, I want you. Nah, B, <sighs> I want to call the cops. I want you <laughs> to leave me alone. Yeah, B. Oh, uh, but yeah, that was the question of the day. We do it each and every week. You can find them on all of our socials. Um, the question of the day usually put your answers in there. You might hear it up here uh, that week. Um, you ready to take care of some business? <sighs> yeah, of course. Of course. Course, all right, all right. Um, guys, hi, anyone hey, who's talking about talking about talking about why your voice crack? You know, just so excited, <laughs> guys. guys. Come on, man. Um, so if you can hear me, we're on tour. <laughs> <laughs> anybody out there? Anybody out there? Hello. Beep, 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 beep. Um, we're on tour. If you care. Um, no, we're on tour. Um, we are excited about hitting all these cities. Somebody mentioned, are we still doing Oklahoma? We are not. Um, if you haven't heard, we announced it before. What happened was they had a date. We had a date. They, uh, we got the dates confused. Um, so we couldn't do the date that they, um, wanted to do. Cause that wasn't the date that we gave them. No hard feelings. It's just how it happens. Um, but uh, so we're not doing it as of right now. So we apologize for that if you didn't get to hear that when we originally announced it. Um, but we are doing dates. Um, OK, May 31st, which is this Friday. If you're listening to the podcast, it is tomorrow. Um, we're going to be in St. Louis at the City Winery. There are still tickets left. Get the tickets. Um, also, let me say this up top. If you hear your city and you're waiting for a city that's uh, close to these cities, but it's closer to you, I guess, we're not coming to anything that's close to these cities. We have a couple more dates to announce, but they're not over here. Like, they're not, they not up here. So just to let y'all know, that's, that's, that's what's happening. Um, hold on. Okay, that is up here. I wanted to make sure one of the dates was up here. So, okay. May 31st, St. Louis at the City Winery. Those tickets are on sale now. There's still a couple tickets left, so please get the tickets. Get the meet and greet. We love to hang out with y'all. Sometimes we do our meet and greets in the green room where you can just come hang, chill, maybe take a shot, talk, take pictures, whatever. So make sure you get your meet and greets, especially at these city wineries. Um, that's something that we love to do. Um, June 2nd, um, Louisville or at Louisville at the Louisville Comedy Club. They told me to say Louisville. Um, it's looking like a lot of y'all don't know we coming. <laughs> Um, a lot of people have said that I've, I've actually contacted some people between Facebook and Instagram, 
Um, and they said they had no idea that we were coming. So we are coming. That is on Sunday, June 2nd at the Louisville Comedy Club. June 8th, Chicago. We're going to be at the City Winery in Chicago. Make sure you get your tickets. As of right now, there are two shows. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to reduce it to one show. But right now, there's two shows, okay? Chicago, City Right Away. I think there's a 6 and a 9.30, I believe, or an 8. 6.30 and 9, 6:30 and nine um, show. Yeah, it's probably going to end up being one show. Uh, if you if you knew, you know, we're having issues, the shadow ban and all that stuff. We tell you every week, but we just letting y'all know that we're, we're dead serious. Like, it's really affecting people getting to hear that we're actually coming to these cities. So we like to kind of emphasize that so y'all understand. Like, if you want to come, get the tickets, you know? Um, June 9th, the very next day, we're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio at the Funny Bone. Um, I've talked to a couple of people about coming to Cleveland. They're excited about that. A lot of them had no idea what was coming. So make sure you get your tickets or tell anybody in these cities. If you know them and they're in these cities, share the tour flyer, let them know we're coming, whatever. Or if you want to. June 21st. Another city winery. We're going to be in Pittsburgh. So I know Philly and Pittsburgh are not close, but that's the closest that we're going to be coming um, as of right now. I don't think we're coming back to Philly this year because we already did Philly, but there are a lot of people that didn't know we did Philly. So June 21st, we're going to be in Pittsburgh at the city winery. June 23rd, here's a special announcement about Detroit. It was supposed to be two shows. Now it is one show. So June 23rd, Detroit House of Comedy. We are only doing one show. Maybe that show sells out miraculously. People start seeing our stuff and they add the second show back because usually we come and we do two shows, but things are in the way. So y'all know. June 23rd, Detroit, Detroit House of Comedy, one show. July 5th, July 4th weekend, we're going to be in New York City at the City Winery on July 5th. Last time we came, we had a ball. We sold it out. We had so much fun. Um, you still got enough time to buy your tickets. July 21st, Miami. Don't let us down. Last time we came to Miami, we had a fucking ball. We're coming back July 21st at the Miami Improv. July 25th, Hartford, Connecticut. We've been there twice, I think, two or three times already. And we've had a good time when we've come. But July 25th, we're going to be at the Funny Bone in Hartford. July 26th, the very next day, we're going to be in Boston at the City Winery. This will be our second time coming to Boston. I'm super excited about uh, about about coming and seeing y'all because we had a good time last time when we came. August 14th, Houston. Y'all want us to come to Houston every year. Last year, we sold that bitch out. We had no idea. It's a big-ass club. Thank y'all so much for buying those tickets. August 14th, we're back at the Houston Improv. So get your tickets now. Let the people know. Do all the things. August 15th, the very next day, we're going to be in Dallas, Texas. Last time we were in Dallas, we were at the Texas Theater. This time, we are at the Addison Improv. And I will remember what happened in Dallas because last time, I did not. I forgot because I was drunk. But apparently, y'all had a great time. We're going to do it again. August 17th, Atlanta City Winery. Right now, we're at two shows. Like we usually are when we come to Atlanta. Right now, we're at two shows. We would love to see y'all out there like we do every single time we come to Atlanta. We have a good time. We stay at our favorite little hotel. We do a whole bunch of little things. We're doing it again. August 17th, Atlanta City Winery. Two shows. And August 18th, we're going to be in Nashville at Zany's. Okay? Um... So make sure you come to Nashville at Zanies. When we come to Zanies, we have a good time too. I think I, I like the setup of it. It just feels really personal. Um, so all of these dates, all of these are on sale right now. Make sure you get your tickets. They're on sale at, at and then we had sex.com or on the venue websites or our link trees in our bio on Instagram and Facebook and on um, our Instagrams, Chris and Seville's and J Talk 100 and all of those things. So if you want to get tickets, get your tickets now. Let other people know about the tickets. Get your groups together. Get your people together. If you've been to a show before, it's a brand new fucking show. It is oh, yeah. not the same show. <clears throat> it's a brand new show. Um, and it's going to be a good time. We're really proud of this show that we put together. It's very personal to us. It's very funny, very relatable. If you're by yourself, you can still come. I've seen a couple of people ask, do you have to be in a couple? Do you have to be in a group? You don't have to do none of that. We're going to make sure you have a really good time. So 
Make sure you get your tickets. We would love to see y'all. Yeah, and like she said earlier, if you want to, if you want to, please share the uh, tour flyer because nine times out of ten, even though they're not seeing our stuff, if you're seeing our stuff on uh, like the tour flyer, you can just post that to your story or something, and hopefully somebody else who follows you might know of us and like, oh shit, I didn't know they was coming to my city. So share the tour flyer. That would be amazing for us, man. We really appreciate y'all and all the uh, support that we have been receiving from the people that have been seeing stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah uh, make sure you share that. Uh, also, um, speaking of socials, make sure that you're following us on all the socials. We're mm -hmm. on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. TikTok. Um, Facebook is and then we pod. Uh, the Instagram is and then we pod and and then we pod too. And uh, also the TikTok is and then we pod. So yeah, make sure that you're following those pages. Uh, that would be super, super great. Also the Patreon, man, Join jump Patreon. on the Patreon. Mm -hmm. We've been on it. We've been okay. on it. We've been on We've been it. on it. If you used to be a Patreon member and you're like, oh, they never used to post stuff, that ain't the time no more. You know, we got chats up in there. We got the videos. We we post audio of all of the episodes as well. He just told me about the chat. He jumps in the chat. Um, I'm going to start jumping in the chat. Yeah, I try to jump in like every day now. I didn't really know nothing about the chat. Um, and I guess that's taking place of a Discord. So if you up there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in the chat too. I'm going to get it. I got to get it on my phone. Yeah, the chat is super fun, yeah, man. People, I get it on my phone. The people that are part participating seem to like it um we want to see more people in that chat so please join the patreon uh it's very cheap to do um and right now running that special man five dollars gets you everything on the patreon that's not happening for long so you might want to do it now jump on that patreon and you know become a member man mm -hmm. uh it's it's a more intimate uh access to us um, and there's more things coming on the Patreon. We've been, I've been slowly building up different content in order for us to release on Patreon. So it'll feel even more personal to us. But those episodes that go up there are super personal. You see us do it all. Some people that miss some of the old content, you can get a lot of that old content feel on the Patreon as well. So don't forget to join the Patreon. He's uh, saying arguments. <laughs> Not just that, <sighs> but yeah, arguments. Yeah. Um, and Nastiness. also, uh, if you want to get those tickets, like she said, and then we had sex dot com. Yeah. Um, yo, the topics were mad light this week. I don't, I don't know what's been happening, man. Like, I think Memorial Day weekend kind of stopped a lot of shit. Everybody was celebrating. Everybody was having a good time and enjoying their life. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that means that not a lot of shit to talk about. So you know, I'll just go through some stuff that I saw. Um, yeah, and we can we can talk about this shit. Uh, Candace Owens says pornography should be banned. It is a psychological weapon to weaken our men. What the fuck else does she say with that? Because why why does it seem like she thinks that porn is only No, that's all she said with it. Oh, that's all she said. <laughs> um ban porn. What it what it Cardi said how it actually should teach men how to please a woman. Did she say anything else after that? Nope. <sighs> she didn't even elaborate. First of all, why do they think that Porn is just for men, for one. Mm. It's not just for men. I love porn. I love a storyline, mm -hmm. but I love porn. I know everybody will love a storyline. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I like to I like, want to get right to it. I like to know how we got there though. Okay. Um, but it's not just for men. Why did why <sighs> Well, she didn't say it's just for men, but she's saying it's weakening our men. I don't think so, because elaborate. And then she didn't. Like elaborate, what do you mean? How is it weakening our men? Do you think it you think you weak? Nah. Wait, you have to think about if you weak? No. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think about porn. Like a lot of a lot of my friends um don't watch porn. But I have a I, they either don't watch porn or they don't watch it a whole lot. Um, you know, they're very they're very good with porn. Um, but I do have a friend that stopped watching porn because he felt that um it took away something from him. And that's, I think it's what your relationship with porn is. Yeah. I don't think it should be banned, but I don't know. People like to live their lives the way they like to live their lives. Which is like, perfectly fine. I don't think you have, like you said, I don't think you have to ban something in order to not do something. Yeah, you can just take it out of your life. Why does it have to be banned for everyone? Yeah. If, you, if you have a complicated relationship with porn, then that's something that you have to kind of figure out too. Yeah. Um, that you can deal with within your, you know, circle or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, there are people that can just enjoy porn and go about their day. Hell yeah, we pro porn over here. Hey, we we like porn. Porn oh, is yeah. fun. Porn it's is nice. great, it's especially beautiful. if you do it with a couple. 
You know what I mean? Like, if you a couple and you y'all sit together. You watching porn? Watch porn, man. Together, man. It's so great. So you got to agree on the same porn, though. Uh, yeah. And, and sometimes that's kind of hard. Sometimes, sometimes that's kind of hard. Sometimes it's hard. Because some of the porn you watch, like, you be in it looking at me like, you like this? And it's like, cool. I hate watching nasty flicks with Kristen. Why? Because, man, <laughs> we take 45 minutes just trying to find a video. Yeah, uh, that, I'm very indecisive. And then I and then I try, I'm like, yo, what, what, what are you into today? Like, what you want to watch? You know what I mean? You like this? Nah, her hair ain't right. You like this? I didn't never nah, say that. Nah, she don't, she yelling too much. You oh, like this? well, you know who that is. You've said it about multiple. I people. know she, but that she specifically gives me very fake, and people love her. And I don't want. I want to feel. Missy Stone is a great actress, n- but I don't want to feel like it's. She was on a real TV show. I don't want to feel like it's acting. I want to feel like they really enjoying themselves. I get it. I get That's it. That's way more fun to watch. Like, I want you to really enjoy yourself. That's just like if we're having a threesome or we're having a situation where. And we've done this before where you fucking somebody and I'm watching. Mm-hmm. I want that person to actually be enjoying themselves. I don't want you to make noise for me. Don't put on a show. <laughs> I want it to be fun. I want right. it to be. I, that's the only thing that's going to turn me on. If you just put on a show, give me that dick. That's mine. That <laughs> it's mine anyway. Get, give me that. <laughs> oh, I love the new listeners. They're going to hear them be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You mm-hmm. got to go back some episodes. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> now, I do not agree with Cardi B on this, though. What? Uh, with her saying that teaching them how to please a woman, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with. Either. I don't know if porn is going to be the teacher um, for for one main reason, and that's because every person is different, yeah. and learning how to please is more about knowing the person's body that you're with, and not so much about doing something that you've seen on TV. You know and I mean? again, a lot of porn is performative, and they're just doing some shit and. If you do that in real life, it's not going to have the same effect. Hell yeah. But you can learn new moves, though. From Sometimes porn. they eat eating too fast and it's not, it don't look like it would actually do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes it's just, I don't know, or or whatever the move is. It doesn't like, what is it? What is it hitting? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Hey, man. Sometimes you just got to extend. Extend what? The time. So you do other moves. Oh, I man. thought you meant like extend, extend old dick or nah, something. No, 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 no. No, what are you do, talking you, about? Men use. Men use multiple moves in order to extend the, the the length of the sex. Yeah, but sometimes, like, you... That's the problem. Y'all so worried about the time of the sex that you're not worried about the actual pleasure of the sex. You are not. No, because if you're trying a whole bunch of different shit and then there's something that's working really well Mm -hmm. and because you feel like you about to come and you don't want somebody to say that you came fast, you switch it up when we really enjoying ourselves. And then when we come fast, it's like, oh, man, I was about to come. But what about us, too? You so worried about... No, that's about, what y'all say. No, oh, man, you, I was about to come. But you worried about your performance. And right. it's like... I got to worry about my performance. Don't, I, men, don't you ever think that you don't have to worry about your performance in the bed. But also worry about what you're doing. Worry yeah, about you what you're worry, doing. That's part of your performance. But you switching it up because you're like, oh, this is going to be too fast. And it's like, what if I'm really enjoying myself? See, you know what your problem is? I like it, like pleasure. You have You have sex. For pleasure. For a nut, and that's it. Some people have sex because they enjoy sex. And it's not all about rushing to the nut. I'm not trying to rush to the nut. I Sometimes I just want things slow, but, like, don't fucking switch it when it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, and if you know the person's body, you know to use that move last. But what if you're in the middle of the move and you're like, oh, I guess, what are you, in your mind, is your mind like, I used that too fast. Let me switch to something else and come back to it? A little bit. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's, in, that's, that's wild. I don't, I don't have that problem. I don't have that problem. But um, at the end of the day, I know that there are certain times where I have to make this last in order for you to get yours. You know what I'm saying? And you be eating for a long time, and I really appreciate that well, shit. Well, I my my thing is I be feeling so bad. I'm like, oh, he's still down there. But nah, like nah. it's doing what it needs to do. Now I like I like to eat first a lot of times to completion in order for you to get that first one out the way. Mm-hmm. Cause then no matter what I do, it don't really matter because you already got one. But it does you know what my favorite, absolute favorite part of sex is? What's that? Is after You've made me come from eating 
And then you, the first insertion of the dick right after that, mm -hmm. because my whole body is like, my my vagina, everything is just like, oh my God. Yeah. That first insertion right after is like my fate. It's like, oh my God. I get it. It's my favorite part. I can tell. I can tell. It is like, it's the, oh, it's the, that one, it's like, it's only a couple of seconds, you know? <laughs> It's right after, and then you, and when you get up to insert, I'm like, oh, it's time. And then that first insertion is like, oh, my God. You know God. what I like to do sometimes, though? What? Sometimes when I know after you came and everything, I'll just wait just a little bit longer before I put it in. Oh, my God. Just to make that anticipation That shit more. is torture. Because that for, I'm, I'm horny right now just thinking about that <laughs> shit. It's those three minutes. Or whatever is like the best ever. In my mind, sex should be like the Ready album. Why are we doing so many Trey Songz references in this I don't episode? Know. I don't know. All right, let's. You ain't got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> like God, this is a lot. This is a lot, even for you. In a day. Oh my goodness. Um, you have put this in here. Um, dick appointment. Wait, weren't you about rules. to say something? What? You were about to say something. Was I? Yeah, before I, I... Why is sex... Why do you like sex to be like the Ready album? Oh, because it's sensual, it's long-lasting, and it's pleasing at the end. I, that's uh, that's the main thing. I like to please. And it looks good. I like I like pleasing more than anything. That's like... I, I like to see your face when shit happens. Yeah. I like... Oh, that's my... Ugh. I just want to see it or feel a difference in your body. Maybe your body is tense in certain places or some, where I know that something is happening. Mm -hmm. Like, I I love that. Or I just like watching you enjoy yourself. I get That's that. why I like, I, I, I'm okay with watching you masturbate. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with watching you fuck during a threesome where mm -hmm. it's not me. Mm -hmm. um, I like, I, I, I like watching your face. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I don't. That shit it's is. Your face. It's something about your face. It's just uh. That's funny. Oh my god, I'm horny. If we be honest, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry y'all. <laughs> if y'all listening, I, my bad. My bad. My bad. I gotta go pick up my kids after this. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you put this in here, man. Dick appointment rules. Tell me about it. Um. Somebody posted it. Uh, I don't know. I barely read this shit, but we can read it now just because we here and we got shit else to talk about. It All says, right. who posted it at Mr. Country Fed? Mm -hmm. I, put, I put this in here a while ago. Um, Are there rules for you for dick Were there rules for you for dick appointments? Did you um, have any personal ones? Uh, not really. I mean, I guess it just kind of varied from person to person, but I didn't have that many dick appointments. Mm. I wasn't really that person. Well, as a um, a traveling uh, a dick giver. Um, you got to. That is a cute way to say ho. That's <laughs> the cutest way I've heard so far. Um, I only had one rule. Keep it about sex. Keep it about sex. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, don't don't go in there having conversations about other shit. Don't go in there acting coy like it ain't about what it's about now when it's an appointment and you know it's about sex then keep it about sex that's kind of where i am with threesomes we've talked about that i no. mean no 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 i'm not because i like it to be conversations not conversations but like where it doesn't feel like oh like we're awkward. But your problem is you don't know how to go from that to, you know, so I know, but I don't want it to be awkward, so I want it to feel familiar. I get it. So I think that's I think it's the opposite, I guess, of what it would be. But when you set a dick appointment, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I want it to feel comfortable where it just happens. But it's obviously it's comfortable. I guess mentally keep it about sex, but I don't mind having conversations. Nah, man, I can't have a conversation because it might it might throw off, like usually the cool thing about setting an appointment for sex mm -hmm. is that you both know that I'm about to get this. And if you set it like a day or more beforehand, even if you set it earlier in the day, 
your mind is to think about, I can't wait to get it. And if mm -hmm. you set an appointment, that means that you already know what you are anticipating to get. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in your mind, you just like, just all day, just, oh man, I can't wait to get up in there. And then you get there and then you start talking about shit that has nothing to do with sex. It almost brings down that heightened feeling of wanting to get in there to have that. I don't you know. know. I, mean? I just like it to feel, I want everyone to be relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, like you, it to yeah. feel like a like we're relaxed. We're not because because what if what if this shit go awry? It's not good, or you nervous or whatever. Like I just want everybody to be comfortable. Like I, yeah, but like I said, with an appointment, you kind of usually if you set in an appointment, you already know what to expect. Oh, it's in and out. Yeah, in and yeah. Out. You you you're relaxed already because you know this person. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you're not worried about the things that may happen along the way. You know what I mean? You you just you just ready. It's like, yo, yeah. Yeah. I've anticipated this. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's like knowing that you're gonna have your favorite meal at the end of the night. You know what to expect yeah. out of that. And all you want is that pleasure of that first bite. No, it just depends on who cooked it. Because sometimes you expect a certain I can't way. Her. And See, maybe and this they is didn't. this is why I have the problems with her that I do. Cause she thinks too much. You man. know, well, you know, sometimes like you go to like a restaurant and you want curry chicken. And you used to curry chicken taste in a certain way, and you go to that place, and they don't season it the same way, and the shit is just not right. The gravy ain't good. I mean, that, that it ain't enough gravy. Like yeah, it's, that, that can happen. You know what I mean? That can happen, but hopefully, you both came prepared to have a great time. In all ways. Yeah, but I don't think see, that relates to chicken. You see, you see, that she, don't relate to curry chicken. Yeah, okay, and we won't talk about curry. Whatever. I was. Um, here, here goes some of the rules that they had laid out. Mr. Country Fed laid out. Um, come with pussy already shaved and clean, ready to be sucked and fucked. Yeah, uh, I just think it just depends on what you like, right? I, come, come with it groomed. Everybody, yeah, I was about to say everybody don't groomed. like it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If it's if it's hairy, make sure it's groomed. If it's clean, make sure it ain't no pricklies. Yeah, you know, all that. Yeah. All right. Uh, no spending the night unless prior arrangements have been made. Go home. Yeah, I hate somebody to just be lingering around. I don't know. Not if that's what we that's if what we discussed was not that. Mm -hmm. After you get that post, nah, thing. I ain't going. I ain't going to hold you, man. Sometimes you when, wanna... when I if I if I've set up an appointment or somebody has set up an appointment, well, if I've set up the appointment and she's coming over to me, mm -hmm. I kind of want you to spend the night sometimes so I can have it again in the morning before I go to work. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. Yeah, you know I mean, or have it in the middle of the night, just like oh, like what? Okay. Like ain't nothing worse than having some amazing sex and wanting it again and she done left. Okay, that makes ain't sense. ain't nothing worse than that, man. Well, I think those are, it's just something you got to discuss beforehand. I don't even want to discuss it. I wanted to make it. See, that's where I'm at with making it feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. And like, oh, shit, you sleeping over? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, yes, more. Look at you. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, right. Netflix is only used for background noise. I don't care what movie we watch. I'd rather watch that ass bounce on his dick. That I have to disagree with that as well. The movie you put on does have something to do with it because if it's a comedy, I'm gonna laugh. And if it's sad, I'm gonna cry. And it might throw off the whole mood. We've yeah, had that I happen before. Yeah, we with the comedy. Yeah. With the comedy that yeah. did happen. That was funny. And I think she was just trying to make us feel comfortable. Yeah, but then I'm like, I don't want to. You know what? I don't want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to laugh at this specifically. If we talking and we get like yeah. I don't want to get into get a, into a comedy. Don't exactly. let it be good. Oh man. Don't what, let it be good. What was it's the one rap. that we was watching? I don't uh, remember. It was good too. Whatever it is, it's a wrap for whatever's yeah. supposed to happen in yeah. here. Because I'm so I'm gonna watch it, this. It took a minute to rev that shit up again. That was Boy. hilarious. Yeah. Uh there's a 15 to 20 minute grace period before sex to act like we're really give a fuck about what we're talking about before sex. Time is hunching. Listen, like I said, I am not even with that 15, 20 minutes. No, fuck that. We know what we're here for. Let's get it done. Well, Okay, well, that's that's polite. Hell yeah. Um, what did he say? Any female items left will be subject to going in the trash. Very true. <laughs> Very. You know what? That's funny, though. I mean, I get it. Yeah, get rid of that shit. I got somebody coming over at eight. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, um, man. Eat before you come. This is a dick appointment, not a date. Yeah, I, I am with that as well. You don't like snacks? No. Man, listen, y'all don't care enough. I... Look, if I go to a dick appointment, at least at least some snacks. 
I'm always, you know, I'm always worried about snacks. At least no, some snacks. No, man. Now, now. At what if the it's end, like some pineapple or some strawberries no, or something? No, fuck that. At the end of it, yeah, if you're hungry or you need a snack, I'll, I'll give you a snack for the road. But not, you know, not before. Mm -mm. No, fuck that. Because cause then I got to worry about your breath smelling like whatever you just ate. I, if I've eaten it, then I got to worry about my stomach because anything I put in my stomach bothers me in some kind of way. No, fuck that. What if it's fruit, though? No, fuck fruit. Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You can have some water. Mm. Okay. That, that's about it. And not even too much of that because then you got pee pee. And I know I got a pee pee. You got pee pee. You got to make it. <laughs> I got pee pee. I got pee pee. <laughs> Um, last but not least, if you ain't giving head, don't lay in my bed. You getting fucked on the floor. <gasps> but do you want to fuck on the floor, sir? Because if you hitting it from the back, that's your knees getting fucked up by that rug. I don't give a fuck. If you ain't giving head, don't lay in my bed. No, then you just have to know who you having sex with. These are too many rules. Like, nah, some people you don't aren't know like, sometimes. Some people aren't giving head. Some people don't give head. Oh, I know these childish people. A they, pox upon no, their house. A pox. You got, you've said a pox twice today. <laughs> and that's the first time I've ever heard you say it. And I don't want you saying it anymore. A pox. A pox. Uh, I think we, me and one of my boys say that, I Gosh. think. Oh. <laughs> nah. I, we, I think we talked about that. Did we? Okay, well, we even better. About that. Um, I thought this was terrible. Uh, yeah. Goddamn that. Yeah, that net. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Colorado woman charged with murder after cutting off partner's penis and throwing it in the trash. Now, um, basically what happened was, uh, I don't know why she cut it off. Or maybe I did know why she cut it off. Fuck. I felt like I did read that. Yeah, but I, I forgot why there. she cut it yeah. off. Uh, um, wasn't cheating. It was, um, anyway, she cut the shit off. Throws it in the trash. Calls the cops. Tell them that she don't know what's the matter with them. Cops come in. And they they see a whole bunch of blood and they like what the fuck, and she like, fuck it, just without she didn't care. That was a terrible way to explain. Because I couldn't remember all the details. <laughs> it was just funny because I was, I was trying to get the clip notes. Like you was gonna say something, <laughs> and then she was like, fuck it, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is a fear of mine. That is a ter especially when I was out there. What if she didn't think she was gonna kill him? If that's the thing that killed him, because you know that Lorraine, is the thing that killed Lorraine him. Lorraine Bobbitt did it, and he died. He died of a um. He died of a, a cardiac arrest. It's a lot of blood. Yeah. No, yeah. not the blood. The the shock, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I guess because Lorraine Bobbitt did it, and she got away with it, and she was like, "Oh, you're gonna she be was all right." About Lorraine Bobbitt, I think she thought she did this on her own. I don't think that's an original idea. I think. I, well, I think it was original, but I don't think it's like an everyday thing. I think you get inspiration for someone. You I mean, think, RIP to that man. That's fucked up. But like, that's wild. That that's very that that's. I used you to have that I was fear. Be insensitive. No, I used to have that fear. Like legit. Like I was like, yo, one of these chicks is gonna cut me one day. Cut your dick off. Yeah, and it's gonna be a problem. What are you doing to fear that somebody might cut your dick off? Was doing. What were you doing? Just being me. That's a lot. I can yeah, understand that. I understand. I sympathize with those women. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, things that have nothing to do with sex. This, this, this surprised me. And then uh, part of it didn't. They are saying now nutritionists are saying that after a, excuse me, after a study that was conducted, pizza is healthier for breakfast than most cereals. Wow. I thought that made so much sense. A lot of people love eating pizza the next day, like in yeah. the morning. But I'm talking pizza. about in general. Like, I mean, it does. It's a lot of cereal, a lot of sugar and shit. Know, mad sugar and cereal. Yeah, B. it's a lot of sugar yeah. and shit. That makes perfect sense. That's why I get the healthy kinds, man. But they should make a pizza cereal though. I don't think cinnamon toast crunch is healthy. You just do it because the boys like cinnamon toast crunch. No, I'm talking about for me, not oh, for them. Okay. For them, they can eat whatever. Like you know, they got into at least ten. What's your favorite pop tart flavor? Uh, uncrusted strawberry. Oh yeah, uncrusted. 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 I was gonna be like, the crust is the best part. Yeah. Okay. The the boys like the brown sugar cinnamon, and I didn't realize how much I liked it until recently. 
Um, cause we, we were getting the strawberry at first and mm -hmm. then we got the brown and I was like, Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that one. And they never said that before. Like that was their favorite, but now they'd be yeah. like my favorite brown sugar cinnamon. I'm yeah. like, man, that shit is kind of they're, they're coming into their, the moments where they realize what they like more than other things. Which is so very cool. cool to watch. Very cool. Man. Yeah. Especially when they say with their them, favorite anything, I think it's yeah, great. Especially with them being on the spectrum. Like it really is like, oh man, like. You you are really you're really showing us your feelings, mm -hmm. and that's that's super dope, man. Yeah. Um, Chris Brown states that he will be dropping new music videos every week up until his tour. It's a random news fact. Kind of here if. for it. Um, I'm here for anybody doing music videos, like real music videos, mm. because I miss them so much, and I never knew how much I missed them until I've been listening to a lot of just old albums that I love. I only see music videos when they're on YouTube and somebody's just playing music. I like, know, but I that, miss I like really good, like relating a song to the music video instead of just the song. I do miss that. And it, you usually don't see that anymore. Yeah. Except I, for like indie that. artists. Like indie artists still do that. But like, um, but Cardi was doing that for a little, like her, her videos were becoming like. Like what? She was doing really good music videos. No, she was doing and, and great Magnus music Valley videos. And Magnus has been doing really good music videos lately, too. Yeah, but too. are they, like, going with the song? Like, well, I know Cobra went yeah. with Meg the Stallion. Yeah, show. but, like, what was it? The Up video was really, like, a, was a whole thing. I liked it a I lot. I remember seeing Up. It was, I, I remember. If you see it, maybe, like, a clip, then you'll probably remember the video. Mm -hmm. But, like, I miss um, making the video. When they were making the yes. video. And then yes. what's the one that BET had? Access uh, granted. Oh, okay. Okay. I know you don't know stuff. Mm -hmm. But I miss, like, watching those things. Like, I miss music videos. So, that's, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, that's dope. That's cool. Um, here go another dummy. Uh, billionaire plans to travel to a shipwreck, the shipwreck of Titanic, in a $20 million no. submarine. No. Nope. Fucking dummy. No, I hate y'all. I think he he's there to prove that uh, that the technology that they have now is way better than the one that the other billionaire. Does he have in. a will? I don't know. I hope he got a will. He's like one of the type of people that um, don't believe in, in 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 leaving money to people. I do want to say one thing that's not about sex. Okay. Um, you know, recently they put the um, the uh, Negro League stats. Yes. Um, they merged it with the MLB stats, so yes. now they also count. So officially. Um, Josh Gibson becomes the MLB's all-time batting leader as Negro League Statistics Incorporated. Which so it's a black man. Man, listen. Yeah. That's super dope. I think that's so that's that's so that was the time for him. That's a not so now. That was ugly too. That was ugly too. Just because yeah, you told terrible. me to do it, I didn't get to just do it on my own accord. Yeah, yeah that was terrible. Yeah, man. don't prompt me. I just got to do the horns. I'm sorry. You didn't give me enough time either. My bad. No, that that's super dope, man. That's super dope. It, yeah. It's long overdue. Yeah, it's I think that's long so overdue. cool. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, what are we watching? What are we watching? Nothing. Um, we did watch something. We watched something together. What did we watch together? We watched it. Mm -mm. No, we watched something together. I watched um, the last thing he told me on, I believe, Apple Plus. I believe. Um, with Jennifer Garner. And it was cool. I think it's based off a book, I believe. Um, and it was okay. It kept me on my toes, but I didn't like the ending. But I think there is a season two. So because I know there's a season two, I think I, I, I mean, I like it better. Um, but I finally finished that. Uh, did we watch, you watch Dark Matter, but I think you talked about Boy, that. Boy, right? and I'm going to keep talking about it. Dark Matter is the shit. And if you're not watching it, then you're missing it. Because cause you're not watching it. Because you're not watching yeah, it. So pretty you, much. you technically you missed missing it. it. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's so good. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and, and I. I can't say yeah. but so much without giving it away, mm -hmm. and I do not want to give it away because it is that good, but it's heating up. And now that we know how to work the box, 
boy, it's about to it's about to go down. Yeah, I had to watch episode four without watching one through three. So now apparently he's telling me I know more than I'm supposed to, but I still don't understand she shit. She didn't watch all of four. She watched like half. I of still four. don't understand what happened. That, that's why I say you go. You can go back. I'll even watch them with you. Yeah, go but back you said up. episode that was spoiled everything else. It it spoils a little bit, but it doesn't spoil you everything. Like you'll still get into it. I guarantee mm-hmm. it's that good of a show. Okay. And it's based off a book, too. So. Oh! We watched Butterfly in the Sky. Nigga, I knew we watched something. We did. We watched the Reading Rainbow documentary um, that's now on Netflix yes. with LeVar Burton. And it was... Well, I'm not going to lie. When I when it first... Like, when it got to the middle, I was she like... She was hating. Because it was, I felt like they were going through all the books. But the more I watched it... Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It and was so good. LeVar Burton is just such a treasure. Yeah, yeah. Like he's such a treasure, and it's it's so he funny. He in black people too, man. Huh? He believe in black people. I I love that he was talking about how he always showed up every season as a different form of himself, and they mm-hmm. were mad at him because they wanted him to be the same person. Like he was supposed to be like the Mister Rogers, the host of a show, a one type of person, but he would show up. One season have an earring, have a hoop earring. One season have a beard. One season ha- just have the edge up. Mm-hmm. What, like he would be different. Have a, he'd have a Gumby one. Like he would be different. He, every he never season. had a Gumby baby. It was like a. It was like a. He had a. No, no, no. He did. It wasn't a Gumby. Nah, you, it was you, a. You, um, like, you was looking with your head. Sideways. It wasn't a. Shut up. It was whatever. Anyway, he would have like different styles, and I thought that was he was so. Um, about just being himself and showing up as himself, but still being the same person. Like, he was still passionate about what he was doing. And the fact that they went to all these locations and, like, saw the fucking volcano really erupt in real time, like, chase the volcano nah, to that erupt. Shit was, that shit was crazy. That was crazy. And it was literally watching the lava go flow and everything. Yeah. yeah, and just all of the books, just remembering watching some of those episodes, remembering those books, the passion that all these people had. Yeah, seeing the people grow grown up, yeah. the, one, the, the kids that used to give the book report type the, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, but even the behind-the-scenes people, the passion that they had for the project, like, it was a really good watch. Yeah. It was It was beautiful. I love that. Yeah. I love LeVar Burton. I think um, I heard about him possibly hosting Trivial Pursuit or something. Yeah, you was telling me that. Yeah, so I, I, he, he needs, he needs more of those. Yeah, yeah. we need, we need people like him. Love the bar, yeah. LeVar, man. Yeah. Love LeVar. Um, you want to, you want to do this listener question? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, but I, we can do it next time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Um, you, you can always send us a listener question. By the way, uh, you can send one to and then we pod at gmail or you can just go to uh, one of our socials and hit up the DM and send us a question mm-hmm. or, you know, a topic, whatever the case may be. You just talk to us. It's fine. Um, and if you're on Patreon, you know you got that open line of communication right there always. So, um, yeah. Any last things you want to cover before we get out of here? Um, I thought I was going to find something, but no. No, not right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, St. Louis this Friday and this Sunday we are in Louisville. And then next weekend is Chicago and Cleveland. And Cleveland. But all the other cities are on sale. Everything else that we mentioned in the episode is on sale right now. We mm-hmm. really want to see y'all in these cities. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, um, Detroit is now only one show. Mm-hmm. Atlanta is two shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and For now. Yeah, for now. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chicago, for now, is two shows. Yeah. But uh, definitely get those tickets. Um, if you could get the word out, that would be beautiful for us. If not, we completely understand. But even the fact that you're listening to I the podcast. Understand. She does. Or watching the podcast, it is enough. Um, it's it's supporting us. And that's all we can ask for, for real. So we really appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Yeah. And with that being said, and then we had sex and so should you. Thanks for listening. Bye.